Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for bromine triiodide. So here we go. It's going to be Br I3 and that's going to give us 7 valence electrons from the bromine plus 3 iodines each with 7 valence electrons for a total of 28 valence electrons. Okay. Now we can subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which in this case will be 24, and that leaves us with 4 electrons, and divide that by 2, and it gives us 2 non-bonding pairs. And since 24 is equal to 8 times 3, that means that this is going to be an AX3E2 structure, okay? Which means central atoms surrounded by 3 peripheral atoms, and the central atom also has two non-bonding electron pairs. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. So we're going to put the bromine in the center, surrounded by the three iodines. And we can go ahead and single bond all of the iodines to the central bromine, and then fill in the octets for each of the surrounding iodines. Okay, so there's our three surrounding atoms, and now we have to put on these two non-bonding pairs of electrons. So let's put one pair there and one pair there. And if you add up all these electrons, that gives us our total of 28 electrons, and this is actually going to be our final structure. But let's go ahead and uh, verify that by checking the uh, formal charges. So the formal charge on the central bromine is going to be equal to the uh, seven valence electrons brought in, minus the three bonds, one, two, three, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero, okay? And then the formal charge on each of the iodines, and notice that they all have the same setup, so they're all gonna have the same formal charge. So that's seven valence brought in for each one, minus a single bond on each iodine, minus two, four, six, non-bonding electrons on each iodine for a formal charge of zero. We'll multiply that times three because there are three of them. And add all these up, it gives us a formal charge overall of zero, which is what, which is what we want because this is not a charged particle, okay? Uh, now, in terms of shape, when you have the AX3E2 shape, that means the, the, uh, the shape of this structure is gonna be T-shaped, uh, okay? And when you have a T-shaped structure, that means that the bond angles are going to be approximately equal to uh, 90 degrees as well as 180 degrees in different parts of the structure. Um, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central bromine, there's one, two, three, four, five different electron groups or possible bonding sites, so we need five orbitals. So that means sp3 dehybrid because you have one S, three P's, and one D, so a total of five hybrid orbitals, okay? And that matches up with the five electron groups. And then also, in terms of polarity, because we have these two non-bonding pair of electrons, that's gonna make this a polar compound, okay? That is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.